Put your hands like this so then they can carry even more wood. Good job, Maddie. I'm really strong. You are really strong. What's going on YouTube we're out here I got um I picked up got another load of bread thankful for some friends that are really family they've been helping us out with getting picking up the bread from this wonder share uh, wonder bread place but they meet at the church and they give us another load of bread um, and saying that what I'm gonna do is pull out all the bread that's in here kind of bring to the front and then put that stuff in the back so that we can kind of keep more of a you know the stuff more fresh for the, the animal. It is absolutely freezing out here. Not, not literally freezing, it's not in the 30s, but it is cold. I gotta do some leaf blowing to try to keep some of that stuff away from the uh, house and off the roof so that you know glut the gutters don't get clogged and I don't really like leaves piled up by the house because of you know whatever animals and ins insects what's up Simba yeah I guess while we're out here we might as well feed everybody have you ever felt like the chores just never end and we are super behind I got roughly probably like a cord of wood cut hand cut I gotta finish chopping up all this here, which I was hoping to do last week. But obviously I had my surgery on my um, wisdom teeth, so I've been trying to take it easy and to not overdo it and of course not cause any issues to my teeth. Let's go ahead and feed the uh, the piggies. It's a little, little early to feed the cow because uh, when I feed pudding, I like to lock the calf up at the same time. And it's kind of early to do that. I gotta do another hay run here soon. Maybe I'll take you guys with me to, to, to get the hay, let you guys see that. I do uh, hunt, but I have not had a chance to go out hunting really too much. It's been too busy and then I don't like going when it's super hot. What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? You kind of see like a green hue across the mountain here. <laughs> Every little bit helps to help with erosion and working on this during the winter, uh, even though it might be cold out, is perfect because you'll just do a fire and uh, get a nice big fire going, keep you nice and warm while you're working. And, then, and like I seeded it all right here and that took, what are you doing? You are being super goofy. You are being super goofy. What do you think? What do you think? As you all know, feed prices are just climbing every day. Like they're climbing every day. Every day, every day. And so, we do the uh, bread because it's extremely affordable for the chickens and for the, cat, uh, for the pigs. And it, it really just... We still give grain to the pigs. We still give grain to the chickens, but the bread helps kind of offset the cost more for that so that it's not, we're not just pouring through money and grain for the animals. And we haven't seen any issues health-wise with them.
I don't know if we're gonna see a deer or not because well we might be right at the time <laughs> can I help you but oh, we'll see Let's see what happens here I'll probably when we walk back there get real quiet so don't disturb too much vocally so you'll probably hear me kind of whisper so I'll move the mic in to get a little closer so you can hear me talking I have a trail going to the blind so I could technically put this bag of corn on the four-wheeler and drive it out but I feel like that just kind of makes too much noise and then the smell of the four-wheeler I don't know all this is just piles of wood so once we get this all cleaned up chopped up and burned up we'll get this all cleaned up and we'll have a full by acre and a half of land strictly just pasture which is gonna be sweet so there's my, my double stand that we've used I've taken the boys hunting in it and stuff Deer. Did you see the deer cow? I thought we would spook him. That's a good sign. We're gonna get some corn, put the trail camera up, and call it. We'll get out of here. Nice. Yeah. There's one blind right there. That's our that's where we hunt the most. We got another blind somewhere over there and then a single stand all the way over there in the back corner. That's a good sign though. I mean, obviously we spooked it, but that means it's coming. Okay. Let's check the camera. Okay, it says it has battery. Okay. It is not 526. It is currently 456. Okay. Just to give you guys an idea, so you can see where the tree's falling right there. So basically from that big uh, beech tree or whatever it is, this line here kind of curves, comes out. All this is cleared. We had them, they left trees that weren't worth logging. And um, so once we get like all this cleared up, all this is pasture. So it's, 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 I'd love to get one of those, um, you know, wheel tape measures, those wheels that like, can go forever and see really how big this area is I'm gonna I say roughly an acre and a half once it's all cleared and done it might be more it might be a little less I don't think it is though you ready for some grain huh come on I'm going I'm gonna go out I just realized I had you guys right on my forehead I'm gonna go out and get um, hay and some more alfalfa pellets. I'm gonna take you guys with me. It's kind of cool. I don't mind doing it. I don't mind uh, stacking hay either. Um, I just wish, I don't mind loading and unloading by hand. That's not really a problem for me either. Um, I just wish that we could store more than what we can store. The shed does well. It holds about 210, which isn't bad. 
what's going on YouTube like I said before I'm taking you with me to go get some hay and feed so we're on the road now to get to the feed mill and <clears throat> it's a pretty cool place it's done by the Amish uh, we really enjoy getting our feed from them they have good prices also usually have everything in stock typically and uh, they're just great people and also very just kind so we really enjoy working with them all the time so that's where we're headed. I have the, my dad's Pathfinder and trailer. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get a decent load of hay and get some alfalfa pellets for pudding, for milking, and then we'll load up and head out. As you can see here, we've got the trailer loaded and they got like a <clears throat> big barn that holds all the hay. It's pretty cool. And they just load it for you. So that's getting hay and then we got some alfalfa pellets for pudding that we use for milking. And uh, they didn't have the hay we usually get so I had to actually go up to a better quality hay, um, which of course jumped the price up more. but. You kind of got to do what you got to do. See, they got some black Angus, it looks like. Uh, farm, and they got some horses over here. Big, big Amish farms around here. Huge, like hundreds of acres. I mean, they're massive. <clears throat> so, all right, well, I'm gonna uh, head home. <laughs> 